do have uh, another speaker now, as we're changing the panel here at the table. Dr. Mauro Mario Mariani. He's become a TV personality, a celebrity, he's an expert in cal uh, collating therapy and uh, he's been uh, studying nutrition as uh, a drug and uh, from collating treatment uh, to uh, the role of oxygen. So he'll tell us about his 20 year experience uh, in this area. Thank you. Um, I love music a lot uh, and uh, I've been uh, uh, hearing uh, a well-known song in my ears over and over and again uh, in the last few hours uh, uh, and it, it, because it's about the, this, the organ, this meeting, this organization which has been an amazing uh, experience so far as uh, the lyric uh, of the song goes in two thousand and uh, 11, uh, organizing an event like this uh, might be easier, but this uh, was the first event that I was invited to back in 2002, oxidology, uh, oxidology and chelating treatment, uh, how to break the toxic link. So we've gone a long way. We have been able to uh, reach a number of goals over the years, but there's much yet to be done. Uh, 450% participants are not enough. We need many more and we hope to see more and more of you in the future. The role of, of oxygen on demand from chelating treatment on. The previous speaker said it can remove the toxic metals accumulate, accumulated during chelation. It comes from a Greek word, the word chelation. Look at this. When this is the structure and gives us the idea of the use and uh, low toxicity of DTA molecule which does not stay in the body. It uh, engulfs the toxic metal and transport it, uh, transports it without causing um, damage. It is a well recognized therapy. This is the slide that I like very much. It is the first chart shown to me on collating treatment and its mechanisms. Treatment must be done exclusively intravenously. So suppositories, tablets, patches should be left aside because uh, it uh, is not beneficial if administered in, uh, uh, in other ways. In order to inactivate the free radical, let me show you some results. Uh, this is uh, the test uh, developed uh, in the 90s. So we can see urine and then the intravenous administration, urine collection and test. In yellow we can see the values before and after. Between the before and the after there are v major differences. 780, I, was, I had a lady with Alzheimer's that had, had over a thousand of aluminium in, of urinary aluminium after the intravenous administration. Attenzione un attimo, la vorrei porre sul ruolo del ferro. If uh, we study the family members and friends of the least fortunate patients that are not 
uh, um, able to come to my office uh, by themselves, uh, their accompanying persons have more mercury, aluminium uh, and lead than the patient with the condition, but uh, iron is always in the range. So the person without an inflammatory disease doesn't have uh, iron levels beyond the limits. Uh, you can see um, laboratories get crazy when you want to ha have this parameter and you can see after the administration it goes up to 280 patients with many pre problems may, make, may have as high as 4,000 then after 10 in intravenous administrations patients have improved their red blood, red blood cells and hemoglobin but of course there is a reason why this can be obtained the, the oxidative damage which causes uh, 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 uno e EDTA, EDTA has an incredible uh, power restoring the crosslinks, collating uh, therapy and avoidance. So we're not uh, so worried about this uh, um, uh, for patients, but for all of us, what is avoidance about? We need to pay attention to that. 1961, multiple sclerosis, less than 1,000 cases in Italy. 2010, multiple sclerosis in Italy, 70,000 cases. What happened over the last 40 years in this country? Avoidance is a defensive strategy which enables a person never to come into contact with uh, uh, reaction inducing substances. I am what I eat. You shouldn't uh, uh, think about uh, the eat but about the I am and uh, the organizer wanted to include a number of very important contributions uh, in the afternoon about this very aspect in order to put some order in our minds we have a lot of confusion in our minds we are not able to make the right choices to make the right choices uh, Uh, we can, uh, we have to consider heart, uh, um, mind uh, and body. Uh, I am what I eat and we become what we eat. I showed you this slide two years ago, but last year, actually from the home of you, you last year you smiled because you came to Homo Sky, who is the father of Bimbo Sky. This year, actually, we have an update, new new character. There's a young kid who says something important. We have now the happy... How a boy, but that's not a happy how it's a sad how a boy. These boys uh, have mistaken mojitos uh, for a, a refreshing drink, and that includes uh, rum, as you know, so that's dramatic because wrong feeding habits leads to pathologies, too many carbohydrates, uh, pane, pasta, bread, pasta, pizza, and potatoes um, is, is wrong. And this uh, actually has to do with a lot of um, promotion done to this type of food in, on TV. There's a type of spots you see on TV, too many carbohydrates, too many proteins. We should help the fantastic machinery here, uh, our kidneys, uh, to avoid acidity, uh, acidosis. 89% of Italians know what uh, renal insufficiency is. Uh, one man out of five and one woman out of six, uh, about 75 years ago, he suffers from that. So, uh, uh, few proteins uh, uh, we do not need to intake too many proteins so we need to beware uh, red meat and cheese uh, are the most acid of our food um, and there's acidity um, implies several troubles as we shall see so proteins are fundamental but we can have proteins uh, even in a nice uh, dish with beans or with uh, spelt uh, um, and, and, and these is certified by vegetarian people so just can't use uh, these really excess proteins produce too many 
uh, waste, as it were, acidosis is uh, the common ground uh, to uh, the backdrop to many pathologies. So we need to um, uh, protect our body from that. Uh, um, uh, I can take, for instance, just three uh, tablespoonfuls of uh, bicarbonate of my professor Carbonari, uh, can I start in the first weeks? Uh, actually, we get in a very uh, risk of getting in a very complicated situation we cannot solve. Um, we should let food cure us, help us, and depurate us, our body. I would like to thank Mr. Emiliano Sili uh, for offering me the opportunity of uh, speaking here in front of you uh, to, as it were, evangelize you in these aspects. Um, over the years he made a gift to me. That's my next life. I want to be a, a fruit grocer. I want to, uh, to do basic medicine. That's basic medicine. And he has made this possible for me 38 times last year. And subject by subject we fleshed out the most important things there is, which is defense thanks to antioxidants. Uh, this was our leitmotiv, um, a salad before any meal, and this really uh, was accepted by many spectators and also at the Cell Food Garden yesterday evening where the um, hors d'oeuvre, as it were, was a salad. So the trip 3 M pyramid is my uh, protocol, as it were. And the first step is exercise. In the afternoon, uh, we are going to hear at athletes. Uh, they will tell us how important the proper exercise is, how important fruit and vegetables are. Um, eating fruits and vegetables uh, is a prevention against many things. So the 3M method um, uh, has um, includes several step, steps, such as the restart, uh, with the weaning from uh, animal proteins, and then uh, we remix everything and we come to a regular uh, protocol all the way up to the final step, which is our Mediterranean diet, uh, which less than one years ago became uh, a UNESCO heritage. Uh, I'm also what I drink. Uh, unfortunately, some decision makers were not quite clear on uh, what uh, we should drink, I must say, but we received a good lesson from France because France has now put tax on uh, fizzy drinks. And that was a very strong signal uh, from Minister Fillon um, when he prepared his new budget law. Uh, we should be aware of this uh, so-called happy hours. Our country uh, is the first European country with uh, 15 years of age people drinking alcoholics. Um, we shouldn't neglect this animal here, that's the king of the uh, diet of many Italians, uh, actually. You should uh, take a look at how milk is produced, how it's pasteurized and industrialized. I, I, I'd rather drink uh, a glass of Coca-Cola than a, a, drink, a glass of, of milk. The use of milk started, starts at oxidation process which inhibits antioxidants. Um, uh, this is a work uh, coming from, uh, that is the right, from an English paper. Um, English people have been drinking tea for a lot of uh, years, uh, of course, and, that, and, and they use milk with tea. Uh, tea uh, milk inhibits acetosis, inhibits, uh, um, and, and becomes a dangerous food in essence. I'm also what I brief with, uh, together with Georgia, we made a number of meetings on this, and our cities certainly do not help us in this respect. This is one of our cities, very sad city. 
uh, said Italian situation, which is actually common to all Italian situations, and this actually is part and parcel of any, many of us. We shouldn't um, therefore uh, share these uh, attitudes. Uh, so I like the non-smoking efforts, such as Professor Draga's uh, efforts here in Bologna, which helps uh, um, detoxify tobacco smokers. Uh, body burden uh, is uh, a favorite subject of mine. I, I I've been carrying on it since 2003. Um, the oxidation, oxidative stress is a sort of bomb. Uh, it's li like a, a tuning fork, really. If you do not stop a tuning fork, it proceeds and goes over and over, and the same happens for this. So it's, it's, it's important to find something which inhibits oxidative stress mechanisms which uh, damage the plasma membrane. And I rem remember my specialty, the beginning of it all was my specialization in heart and vascular diseases. I'm an oncologist. And I followed a theory which has become now a well established uh, assumption, which is not a high LDL, high cholesterol. It's the oxidat oxidate, oxidized LDL, which is very damaging. If you have a, a 300 of cholesterol, of course, even LDL, of course, obviously LDL is oxidized, but also 180 L, uh, cholesterol, so cholesterol can be dangerous um, and, and, and really lead to infarction especially if you're under heavy exercise. So we need to be ten, uh, pay attention to excessive stress. Uh, th uh, thankfully, I started also publishing on official um, uh, journals. Damage is caused by hypoxia, uh, lack of oxygen, which uh, produces uh, free radicals. Uh, and this happens also during intense uh, exercise. I'm happy to see that many gyms now open at 6 o'clock in the morning as uh, Santa Zanella said, the best, uh, uh, the, the greatest effect of physical exercise is early in the morning. Um, hypoxia then induces HIF-1, which was mentioned by many speakers, and this is precisely the risk factor which is caused by damage in the mitochondria. There is a reduction of ATP, an increase in free radicals, and then damage. Uh, a disorder starts uh, because of the hypoxia, hypoxia, that is the response to hypoxia by the body. So we need to find a new balance uh, to ensure an appropriate uh, nutrition to the cell. So the enzymatic blockade induced by hypoxia must be released by oxidating, by supplying oxygen to the body. This uh, slide was uh, the first stone of the Sagrada Familia in 2000 when we spoke of oxygenation, when Giorgio Cristiani um, used uh, friends and doctors to test this product. Um, I was embarrassed yesterday night, actually. Uh, I saw a lot of colleagues whom I not only held holding esteem, but I love, especially because they are so daring and publicize and disseminate their knowledge. These scientists really made it possible for us to stimulate universities as well. Uh, look at this special effect from the University of Milan by uh, Sessus Ferreira and Dr. Fulgenzi, how mitochondria uh, become colored after self is taken. And uh, also this is a prestigious paper. Uh, I, I feel, I have a feeling of belonging from my region. We had the first publication concerning the antioxidant effect of cell food. Uh, that happened in the Urbania University. I'm really proud. Thanks, uh, Serena Benedetti. Thanks, Professor Canestrari. Here, uh, what you see is the extracellular matrix, which is the place where nutrition control and management of all cells actually integrate and exchange information. That's precisely where free radicals uh, cause damage, and that's precisely where we need to act to release and allow the, to, the communication between cells and among cells. Uh, Glycocalyx, uh, uh, back in 2008, uh, was precisely defined in this way. 
uh, that's where cell food rise in addition to chelation and uh, metabolic drainage of cell foods also removes waste and provides oxygen to the cells so today we know how this is done this is an extraordinary picture these are particles of mercury uh, um, sticking to uh, uh, the cell membranes of a neuron and uh, thanks to the chelating treatment actually we managed to remove that mercury but that's not all um, that's not the end of the story when I met Serafina Corsell in the United States uh, with my with a plastic bag uh, several years ago Serafina Corsello uh, met me while I was so very excited and I asked her, where, where are um, uh, IV drips repaired? And he goes, come here, what do you know about dysbiosis? What do you know about um, tissue acetosis? Do you know something about uh, food intolerance? Um, stay here two weeks, uh, look at how I, I see patients, I examine patients, and eventually you'll determine your treatment you'll do. And I will be always thankful to this woman because she really... Uh, made me an incredible uh, gift uh, with a, a lot of insights on this matter. Um, for six years I have been performing chelating treatment, uh, but the problem is the stress induced by a chemical uh, molecule. Um, you know, the action of EDTA was the rupture of a toxic link, as I called it. Uh, so if chelation is the solution, uh, the uh, incoming oxygen, you see, but cell food is the answer. So the chelating treatment uh, is a helpful solution, but the daily answer is um, an oxygen-dependent, an oxygen-on-demand treatment. Um, so you have a damaged cell, EDTA comes, restructures the cell, and cell food oxygens and repairs and releases and repairs again. So this response which uh, nourishes, uh, detoxifies, and cells gives a very important contribution. We know now why and how much, because uh, we know that cell food reduces oxidative stress. The vision I had in 2004 is this, pass, but now I can shout it, uh, um, is a pass, is an antioxidating synergic systemic pool, and we have an entire range of literature, the literature on cell food, and there is the experience we all have in our clinics, uh, the experience of many patients who use it. Um, in 2005, uh, we spoke of uh, MCS and uh, the possible treatments against that now have a protocol which includes essential uh, amino acids without uh, nitrogen residues, omega and alkalinizing agents. This is a strategic operation that needs to be done as long as necessary. You do not need to alkalinize uh, at all times, uh, as we don't need to acidify at all times, uh, of course, uh, eating fried food or um, chips and Coca-Cola, of course. Uh, because what's uh, normal for a kid or, or for a senior citizen is different. Uh, a colleague of mine uh, yesterday told me a very large menu they were going to have on a big celebration. I wonder how long they would eat. Um, but of course, uh, kids born in the war period, of course, could, could eat so much because uh, they were undernourished. But now we are killing ourselves, so we need to have an appropriate treatment together with appropriate nutrition that may lead to these results. There's a very good friend of mine. During the first three months, we, we, we spoke every day. Yeah on the phone uh, on July the 20th uh, a boy came to see me in my clinic he was a very white, very pale, he had a long linen shirt and he uh, told me help me doctor uh, 
In 2002, after an anti-typhus vaccination, he had uh, terrible problems, uh, never, uh, and stepsis, and peripheral neuropathies, hypersensitivity to detergents, etc. He was an extreme fan of his soccer team, and he started tattooing um, different symbols of his groups and of his soccer team. He fell in love, and so he had then the, the, the image, the face of his woman tattooed on his arm. After that, he, his calvary started. That was a very colored tattoo. He started having a, a, a reactivity against anything, um, but even um, detergents, etc., but even uh, dresses and clothing, actually, could wear only white linen, white cotton. So he had six amalgams in his teeth, and so um, I gave him his own work. You start immediately with this. By the 1st of October, you need to remove amalgams. At the end of November, he came back. Uh, he respected the protocol with his dentist, uh, and then we started a collating treatment. After the third IV drip, he had improvements, and the fourth IV drip actually uh, was um, when he came for the fourth uh, drip. I saw him coming in with a blue Lacoste shirt, and I was in first. Um, I told him, Mario, we need to take a major decision here uh, because thanks to the collating treatment, actually, that uh, tattoo was going, uh, what was mm, yelling off that smell. Uh, uh, and so I told him to remove that tattoo surgically. Uh, that entailed three different operations. Uh, and after that, in March or April, he started wearing also synthetic clothing. He started putting up with others and tastes. And that was my greatest uh, satisfaction because I think that Maria was cured from all this. Uh, the protocol includes not only careful nutrition, not only cell food drops, uh, the protocol includes also cell food sani and cell food sani drops because it precisely they had a metabolic uh, sh um, uh, deficit of glutathione. Um, sani is a, a good because uh, of the fire and, and a good uh, detoxifier of the liver. So we had alkalinizing agents, cell food drops, cell food semi, and a multivitaminic and cell, sp cell spray. Um, and as uh, you see, uh, with these products, I really feel better. I continue to detoxify my body, and chelation is the solution. Uh, Professor Canestari also mentioned, quoted Albert Einstein, who said, uh, an intelligent man solves a problem, a wise man avoids a problem. We are parents and should be responsible for our children. We should try and avoid troubles for our children. And in our daily life, we should give more love to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mariani. We'll try and be wise and intelligent, uh, do things together. We'll try and avoid avoidance through a defensive strategy, which is quite clear. We should cure ourselves uh, with food and we should also perform some exercise.